Um, today I just want to talk to you about COVID-19 and where our numbers sit in our community. Um, if you look at what's happened over the last 16 months, our COVID cases, they started really high, they kind of come down after the first of the year, and now we've had a resurgence. Um, if you look at the numbers quoted for Craighead County, right now we've had about 14,500 cases of COVID, and we've had about 190 deaths, so our mortality rate's about one to two percent. What we're seeing in the pediatric population is that we had about 29,000 cases documented um, in the Arkansas area in general. They can't break it down for Craighead County, um, and no deaths up until recently. Um, and that was only one. Um, if you look at the number of kids who in the past have need to be admitted, it was out of those 29,000 for our state, we only had to admit about 200 kids. And so our numbers were good because the initial strain of the COVID that, of COVID that came through, or the wild type strain as they call it, didn't seem to affect kids a whole lot. The age it liked best was the elderly. Um, and so kids were pretty um, unaffected by the disease. But unfortunately, what we've seen in the last four weeks is there's a, new, there's a new variant that's come through. It's called the Delta variant. And the Delta variant likes younger people. It, its major age, instead of the elderly, is more, more like 40 to 50. But we've also seen that it likes kids a whole lot. Specifically, it likes teenagers and it likes what we call tweens, so in that 10 to 12 age group. Um, Arkansas Children's Hospital will tell us that their admission numbers have markedly increased over the last four weeks. Um, so going from 289 admissions for the whole previous 15 months, they're averaging 10 to 12 a day right now and these kids are sick. In the past, they were not that sick, but these kids are sick and half of them are in the intensive care unit. And what's really causing our issues is no longer this multi-system inflammatory disorder that was a post-COVID effect. What we're now seeing is just COVID pneumonia, just like what the adults got. One person tends to infect about eight or nine other people with the Delta variant, whereas with the wild type variant that we initially had, one person only infected two to three. So the transmissibility of this new strain is so much higher. Right now, Arkansas is 48th out of the 50 states for our vaccine rates for our state. Uh, we're sitting at 36% vaccinated, fully vaccinated. Um, kids, the vaccine opened up for those 12 and above back in May, and since then, we've gotten 16% of our kids vaccinated in that age group, but that's not enough. Um, what the doctors will tell you in the intensive care units is the sickest people and the people who are getting admitted and the people who are dying aren't the ones who've been vaccinated. It's the unprotected and the unvaccinated. And so right now, one vaccine that's approved for 12 to 18 years of age will be the Pfizer vaccine. It's two doses that are three weeks apart. And the one thing we need to take into account is that it takes five weeks to be completely protected once you get immunized. So that means that for kids who are gonna be starting school the middle of August, we need, to get, we need to get you guys vaccinated. We need to get you somewhere so we can start the process. One vaccine only protects you about 40% of the time if you're exposed. But remember, the two vaccines will present, prevent you 80 to 90% of the time if you're exposed. There's just a lot of misinformation that's going on in social media that's making people not want to vaccinate. You know, what we hear as we ask our, our kids as they come in for their well visits and we try to get them to vaccinate, what we hear is concerns about infertility, concerns about cardiac muscle inflammation. And, and basically, all the literature shows that the infertility issue is not genuine. The issue with cardiac inflammation is an adolescent boy thing. Um, it's a very, I think the estimates were they've seen perhaps 50 cases per million doses of the vaccine. Uh, but the cardiologists say, we don't know there's not another virus in our community that's causing this. We can't blame it on the COVID vaccine. But the kids who did get cardiac inflammation, they were not horribly sick. Uh, and most of them could just stay at home and be monitored. Be looking for emails and communications from your schools uh, to share opportunities uh, to get your kids vaccinated before school starts this year.